Good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Kellett, and I'm director of the School of Architecture and Landscape Architecture at the University of British Columbia. Welcome to SALA's 2020 Arthur Erickson Lecture. Before we begin, I respectfully acknowledge that the SALA community lives and works on the unceded traditional territories of the Coast Salish peoples, the Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh. Today, we also acknowledge those traditional territories of Indigenous peoples, wherever you are uh, listening and watching today. So on behalf of SALA faculty, students and staff, welcome to this very special evening with Votron Nya, who will soon speak to us from Vietnam, and I will introduce him shortly. However, before I do that, this evening also marks a very special occasion for SALA and the Canadian design community. Today, SALA relaunches the Margulies National Design for Living Prize, a $50,000 award recognizing a Canadian individual making a profound contribution through design in the built environment. We at SALA are particularly proud that the Margulies Prize speaks directly to the values and the vision that define and motivate our school and our community. These include design at many scales and across many disciplines as a means to meet global challenges and to advocate for a better, safer, greener, and more equitable world. We are eager that the prize not only embody these sensibilities, but become a point of pride, ambition, and aspiration for a broad, diverse and talented Canadian design community. Today, we have announced a relaunch of the prize. This morning, you may have seen this article by Alex Bozikovic in the Toronto Globe and Mail. And now, through this announcement and a launch of the prize website, margoliesprize.com. We sincerely hope that everyone with us tonight or watching this recording later of any age, discipline or geographic region will help us. If you know someone who is designing a more sustainable, accessible, and inclusive built environment, tell us. We are eager to consider their contributions. Over the next few months, SALA will engage the public and the design community in an awareness campaign about the prize and its ambitions. Through this campaign, we will share myriad ways in which Canadian designers seek to improve quality of life and environment through design. The prize Instagram site, at Margulies Prize, will figure prominently in this effort. This process will unfold over the next year. Nominations formally open in February 2021. Shortlisted candidates will be notified in May. And from this pool, a soon-to-be-announced jury will select a winner in summer 2021. SALA will announce that winner in September and host an award and celebration event featuring the work of the winner in October. Nominations open in February. When, when nominations open in February, individuals may nominate themselves or someone else. Who are we looking for? We hope you will join us in this effort. And to learn more or to stay in touch about the prize, visit its website at margoliesprize.com. At the bottom of most pages, you can subscribe to updates. We hope you will do that. Today's relaunch of the Margolies National Design for Living Prize 
provides an apt backdrop to the Arthur Erickson lecture and to tonight's speaker, Bo Trong Nia. Sala created the Arthur Erickson lecture in honor of Canada's and Vancouver's best known architect, and for a time, a member of our faculty. We have shaped this lecture around the importance that Arthur Erickson placed on the responsibility that every generation of architects and designers assumes to enable, in his words, the transformative potential of cultural awareness. In Arthur Erickson's case, this was a rich and lifelong journey shaped by many international travel experiences, and in particular, his experiences of the architecture of Japan and Asia. So in that spirit, we launched the Arthur Erickson Lecture in 2008 to welcome an international architect to Vancouver. And we have only been able to do this through the financial support of many, many individuals and firms who share this mission. Some of you are probably among us tonight, and thank you all. And in particular, thank you, Joseph Wask, for a generous contribution in support of this evening's lecture. Tonight, we are very pleased to welcome Vo Tran Nia, who will speak to us today from Vietnam, where it is shortly after 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. So good morning, Mr. Nia. In an October 2019 article on visionaries, the New York Times described the architecture of Vo Tran Nia as designed for serenity with nature in mind. His firm, VTN Architects, infuses its work with lushly planted walls, hanging vines, structure-piercing trees, weathered stones, and sunken landscapes, incorporating traditional building techniques like complex bamboo trusses, perforated blocks, cooling tower systems, shaded terraces, and thatched roofs adapted to adversity of contemporary design programs and construction technologies. Arthur Erickson, I am sure, would have been most interested. Votran studied architecture in Japan, first as an undergraduate student at the Nagoya Institute of Technology, and later as a graduate student at the University of Tokyo, where, in his words, he learned to be honest in design and honest in life. He established VTN Architects in 2006 to build a practice around a vision of green architecture that merges nature, local vernacular, through modern methods and contemporary design to bring a sense of peace to the world and, in his words, invent a new modern language of architecture in Vietnam. In the intervening 14 years, VTN Architects has achieved remarkable success, earning over 160 design awards. Notable among them is a 2016 Prince Klaus Award for his contribution to cultural actions that have positively impacted society. Multiple World Architecture Festival Awards, an Architects Regional Council Asia Building of the Year Award in 2014, a World Architecture 21 for 21, sorry, World Architecture News 21 for 21 Award in 2012, multiple National Vietnamese Architecture Awards between 2013 and 2019, and Vietnamese Architect of the Year in 2012. Within his and the, the firm's story is a compelling narrative of philosophical and spiritual transformation that has profoundly influenced the firm's culture and its work. So to share this work and this story with us this evening, Sala welcomes Vo Trong Nha. During Mr. Nya's presentation, I remind our audience to post questions they may have about his work and practice to the Q&A function of this webinar. We will turn to them following his presentation. And now I give the window over to our, uh, to our presenter today. Thank you so much. Good evening. In Vietnam, we say with good morning because now it's around 9 a.m. So thank you to give me this opportunity to have the talk about architecture. But um, I would like to talk a little bit, not a little bit, but uh, we talk about the Buddhism precept and meditation, which can help me to 
have more concentration and we can good achieve the good building without going to the even going the construction site and without even uh, uh, meet the client so i would like to start my presentation and thank you again to give me this opportunity can you see my uh, uh, slide yes hello um, we talk about the five precept meditation and architecture so uh, in our company, we achieve like a precept mean morality and meditation means concentration and wisdom. And uh, let's talk first about the morality. The, we are all have to maintain the five precepts. First, do not harm or kill any beings like uh, even ants or mosquitoes. Second, do not take what is not given, like do not steal, right? Uh, uh, I would like to emphasize here is like we we use the software like Revit or 3D Max, and then we have to buy all the license. Or uh, do not uh, conduct sexual misconduct like you should not have uh, your girlfriend or boyfriend or outside uh, your wife or your your husband and do not lie or gossip kind of for example in we are architect maybe we have the problem like we make up story for for our architecture better that will be harm the morality the defy precept or the uh, for example we don't photoshop our picture because if we photoshop maybe we violate to the five precept because like like kind of lying so the last one uh we don't have alcohol or cigarette tobacco because it kind of um uh we have that kind of vice or drug and then with this one we build up really like peaceful peacefulness in our company then uh we build the trust between uh, within the office of course because we are all maintaining the the five precept so if we maintaining the five precept as you see on the uh left hand again so the one who maintain the five precept is uh, the most can we should believe them because they they know tell lie they know killing they know stealing no have illegal sex even no alcohol or cigarette so we can build really good trust within the office and of course within the office and client uh, because when the client they find want to find down a good uh, office of course uh, they would like to have like uh, uh, the good reputation office but also if we don't tell lie or we don't stealing or even we respect the life of even aunt or mosquito that will be easier to to believe right and between the office and society of course because we are achieving that and we try to explain that to the society and then we can gain the trust from them too so uh, because all of us is maintaining the five precepts so the conflict between us is r really less and of course uh, between us and client and between us and society is uh, is really like kind of we have the harmony with uh, 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 by uh, maintaining the five precepts 
and I would like to repeat it again is uh, for example using unlicensed software like AutoCAD or Revit or 3D Max also violate to the five reset because it that is kind of uh, stealing or add an architect now is it became really popular in the world is the make up the story like uh, they, they do for community or they make something like sometimes it almost the time is a kind of make up story for for uh, that is will be we will my violate the five precept too and and one we always do is uh, we think it really normal but for us it also harm the five precept is kind of photoshopping the works uh, photoshop your picture and apply that for a word and that will not be uh, forgive forgiven in my office too so all of that is kind of really uh, kind of really big limitation for us to work but in reality if we overcome this uh diffic these difficulties it will help us a lot because we just focus on the our uh, quality of design and construction so about the concentration so uh based on the five precept we de develop the five uh, uh the the concentration all of our staff at the office have to meditate two hours per day uh, from 8 to 9 a.m and from 5 to 6 p.m and the worker at construction site they meditate from 5 to 6 a.m in tropical climates it will be not very hard because you know uh we are not uh, the climate here is not cold like uh, Canada. But two hours per day meditation is really hard to achieve. That why, because of the uh, uh, precept and meditation, we we was a little bit hard to hire uh, staff or uh, even the, uh, um, the number of projects in our uh, company is increasing very fast but uh, we are sorted of uh, architect but because of the pandemic so we could um, hire a lot of staff recently so i even don't know how, how many staff do i have but maybe around 35 or 40 architects at the moment so let's go back to the concentration and then our it if you have good concentration or uh, you can develop like independence or happiness and nowadays because of uh, the uh, uh, social media or internet or tv it make you like a lot of anxiety but because of the five precept and concentration it help you a lot to reduce the anxiety and the wandering mind in your mind and then it helped you a lot to to achieve the quality good quality of architecture and uh, you you will be happy in your life too or uh, and normally you know the one people they just have like concentration like three to five seconds and then the one wandering mind uh some thinking will uh, interrupt their uh, concentration and then they cannot concentrate well but mm, some we can develop super concentration they can concentrate like 10 minutes continuously 30 minutes continuously or one hour or even two hours three hours or uh, concentration so we can easily enhance the skill and architect just like uh, creativity and skill and then if we can enhance the skill and of course with concentration we can you can develop your creativity and there uh, we will be productivity compared to us before we we, we meditate so but the purpose of 
uh, meditation is not about to making an architecture or being good architect but to be enlightenment so enlightenment is the purpose of the buddhist meditation uh, that is uh, buddha taught uh, more than 2500 years ago so um, uh, here i would like to show you about uh, some project that i never been to uh, or many of them i even never met client but thanks to the concentration and the precept uh, we still could achieve the really good quality of uh, construction and design also and we could uh, we could certify certifies certifies the client by our concentration and the finally we still can achieve the uh, really uh, good uh, uh, quality project quality so this project is uh, like a welcome house at a cemetery in Hue and honestly before before uh, uh, construction I never been here I never been to there uh, at this place until the building finished I went there for the open ceremony that was the first time I uh, I am um, uh, came to this building for to see how it work and yeah the, but the, the the quality i should not say good or bad but you know uh kind of uh, it as usual and this is pure bamboo structure and this is really oh this area this province now is a really huge flooding at the moment but their building is uh, kind of on the, a little bit big hill and then without any problem with the floods. Um, and we use all here is uh, pure bamboo structure with uh, we make the unit of the building like each unit and we copy it and we send the worker to here and we try to make a little bit curve because this uh, 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 area is kind of soft and like many curve uh, uh, soft curve the image of the the land or the mountain a river here is like that and then that we want to achieve something not like uh, straight and the, because of the characteristic of bamboo is they really good at curving and the climate here is not cold like Canada is uh, almost only the, the the summer the winter the coldest will be 10 degrees Celsius Celsius so it not it is not cold at all so we make here all like open space to outside to harmonize with the nature and the the the, the landscape or the forest or greenery around and you know do we we make it really low uh 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 2.5 meter to uh, reduce the uh, to make the shadow for the sun sign and to to fit with their um, uh, tropical climates in this area and even the restroom we invite the wind or uh, light through this hollow brick but it uh, still can keep their uh, um, uh, privacy. So the building looks from outside, it kind of almost the element is like curve. So another project, is even until now, now, I never been to this project, this uh, cutaway in, um, in, do you know how long by? In kind of near the how long by? Uh, and in really small land, it just um, two thousand square meter of whole land, and it can contain like five bank bungalow, one restaurant, and some like uh, kitchen around. 
and this with one bungalow they can live around 30 uh, for uh, 30 uh, people at the same time and then this can 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 uh, contains uh, like uh, um, 150 visitor uh, at the same time and here the bungalow picture you have uh, uh, two floor uh, back bed and the restaurant like this and the uh, uh, second floor of the bungalow and this one is uh, Ven uh, is was built in uh, Venice uh, for Venice Architecture Biennale, and of course I never been there too. Uh, and, uh, at the last, they invited me to go there to give the lecture and have, have the jury uh, panel uh, there. I need to explain a little bit, but you know. I was in Myanmar for meditation, so I think is winning a award or giving presentation is not important like meditation. So I, uh, I, um, I, uh, I was in Myanmar, so I didn't go. And until now, I never, I haven't seen it uh, in person to see this building. You just see the picture. And we achieve this is really hard because they just allow uh, 20 days to build this building. And then we send there uh, 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 seven, six or seven workers. And we hire some of our, uh, uh, Italian worker to achieve this building within only 20 days. Yes. So, uh, oh this building uh, won the the house won the design award voting uh, just few hours ago uh, this house i just went there one time during the construction um you know uh, also i could uh, achieve the way we how we concentrate to achieve the building because you know one building they have maximum just like 50 difficult detail and then with concentration you can we can do it at the beginning you know we can we can have the discussion at the beginning with the risk of the construction and the risk of the um, detail uh, and then we can achieve that uh, even uh, for me, I just went there one time. And the client, they also uh, understand a little bit about the construction and they help uh, to build this uh, building. And uh, this house, the rooftop, like a, a tropical forest, that is we want to achieve uh, recently because in Vietnam with uh, more than uh, 95 million population in really small country and we have uh, around 10 million in Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi and the city in Vietnam we lacking of greenery so each how project we try to introduce the greenery to make the um, house became like a small park for a, for a city. And here we are introduced the really huge spot like in the rooftop to uh, where that uh, uh, allow us to plant huge tree on the, the, the rooftop to, uh, to make the tropical uh, 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 forest on, on the rooftop of this building. And then we try to recycle the water water for for this building, and also we uh, we are going to install a solar panel for this uh, uh, house and to achieve like kind of um, neutral. Uh, we don't use much energy for this house. And you see the pot is really huge and then between the pot the sunlight come and we also reduce the electricity for day day like 
during the the, the day times and this building uh, is uh, the Viettel group in the big uh, uh, like kind of uh, giant um, group in Vietnam for 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 telephone uh, technology and this uh, the office for for them so we build it like a or a the land is become really huge park for for them and and you know we we, we achieve this building is like a, a, a private each private room contain the roof garden for for their meeting inside or even outside and we i think this is the almost the first one we could achieve the concrete building big like this in the in vietnam and we this is a kind of separate uh, uh, concrete here and then it really difficult it was a little bit really difficult to 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 make this concrete and you can see the 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 detail of the building even the staircase and the way we interact are uh, uh, inside and outside and the garden between the wall and you know the even this staircase also like a uh, uh, concrete they make the concrete and the courtyards between the corridor it make really like a uh, um deep a uh, shadow for the tropical climates and i've been there once uh, when it has the construction site when i have like kind of uh, the uh, meditation retreat near here and then i come to see this uh, building and a picture here and this is uh, uh, the next uh this one we won the uh, um first prize for the war architect festival um, for the office building and this one is next to them is the uh, we call Viettel academy center is for kind of school and for meeting and then it win the building of the year for this in was last year um and also uh, we during the the construction site i just went there one time and when i have the um when I finished my meditation in Myanmar and I came, came back and I thought, oh, maybe I should give up my architecture career because I think it's more than enough. We achieve like nearly uh, maybe 50 kind of a little bit good projects and then more than enough for my career. I should focus on the uh bad the thing is for uh, convince the people around the world to uh maintain the five precept uh, and meditation is more meaningful compared to architecture so but when i see this i think is again maybe this building is still meaningful for our society in vietnam so i still can uh, i still be an architect and now i i'm tr trying to explain you the architecture and here is that we make the this brick and we could achieve a little bit difficult detail uh, between the concrete and uh, brick uh, 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 and it a little bit hard to achieve because you know it everything should be really exactly like the asian uh the late, like ancient architect like in europe or, or or like brick building like like that is should be beautiful or in detail but um, nowadays the worker cannot achieve that well about well and then we we did try really hard our staff try hard for this but what i mean is uh, uh, thank to the concentration i just went there once or twice during the construction site and this is chicklin hotel and you can see here is around the concrete jungle 
we have the vertical forest with uh, 21 floor building and then it could uh, now is this a long time ago picture and now it became really beautiful forest already and um uh you know uh, i just been there one time when i have some issue like nearby and then i went there to see uh, this building when it make the concrete and think to the staff uh, and um, the concentration we could achieve this well too and this uh, staff he also meditate very well now he is doing around like four hours per day meditation i think you guy in um, our canada is really hard to believe that some of our staff they are meditating eight or even uh, uh six or eight hours per day to achieve super concentration and then we because of um thanks to the that their concentration we could uh, uh, achieve the good building too so i show you some of the interior interior picture like here's a basic standard room and here is the, the entrance and here is a room in the ground floor and you see again here is from the ocean we uh, in uh, and see the concrete jungle around and uh, with the green uh, uh, with a lot of greenery uh, building it's really kind of a little bit different from others building near here and this one is uh, the halong villas uh, yeah during the construction i never been to but after the construction finished i went there one time to see uh, uh, the building and we create the uh, uh, vertical forest about around the building and uh, interact with between inside and outside and between the inside and outside we have like kind of the uh, garden and the forest uh, in the middle of the space to create really interesting the, the, the inside space and outside space with uh, like in the summer is really hot and thank to the 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 um, uh, i can say like the triple skin the, with the concrete and the greenery and air and the glass again and then it really uh, comfortable in the, the 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 summer and in winter too and you can see the uh uh the 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 uh, concrete wall outside and inside concrete wall and in the in in between they we have the uh greenery and the tree and the, the staircase and let's uh, uh let me explain about the wisdom so wisdom is uh, based on the morality which means uh priest the five precepts for for us and the next the, with the five precepts we develop uh, the concentration by meditation and then we can develop the wisdom by uh, 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 meditation too uh, uh, the wisdom is both based on the five precepts mean morality and concentration and what is the wisdom wisdom is about the mentality and materiality that is the number one wisdom that means we can see the whole universe uh, by this uh, we can see them as an atomic as uh, the particle the really small particle sub um, atomic uh, like really small article in within our body and and even the people body or the earth or the moon or the sun with this really really small article that is will be the first wisdom and mentality is uh, we can observe the um, uh, mentality the the mind our mind from our heart uh, 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 every moment that is will be 
in roughly the Buddha teaching this like mentality and materiality. And the second wisdom will be cause and effect. What is the meaning of cause and effect? And then with this wisdom, we need to uh, observe our many uh, past lives. Can you believe that we, we, we can know who we are in past life and even past lives? Many lives before us, some of them, they can also see uh, people past lives and future lives if we have. And because of this, and then we can see the cause in the past, the, the action we make, we made in the past and make their effect now that why we was born at a human i was born at architecture uh, architect but later i will become like kind of a uh, meditator later because i think i'm good at me meditation uh, meditate um, i'm good at meditation then uh, i'm good at um, architecture so uh and then we can observe the cause and effect that is the buddha teach and then no one in the world uh, until now can teach us about our past lives and future lives and we can understand the cause and effect right and that is really important part of buddha teaching that that is the first wisdom is about mentality and materiality and the second will be the cause and effect so the third wisdom will be like impermanence suffering and non-self what is the impermanence when we observe the uh, mentality and materiality um and we can observe their cause and effect then we see everything like our mentality and materiality um arising and pass away really really fast every moment and then we know everything inside us and even universal appear and disappear very very uh, fast and we just see the the solid uh, body or solid or uh, earth but in reality their mentality and real uh, materiality is uh, appear and disappear very fast uh, within really short time so it that is a really important part of buddha teaching about impermanence and because of everything is impermanence but we have the attachment with that like we have the attachment with our career with our uh, uh, wife or or, or or husband or our girlfriend or boyfriend and then that why or it have uh, attachment with our uh, real estate like land or or money or something like that that why it make us suffering suffering because everything is impermanence but we think that like kind of permanence so that why we are suffering everyone is suffering and we suffering because of the birth aging uh a sickness and 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 die so but there in the deep meaning and then we are suffering because everything is impermanence and we don't know we think that everything permanence and that's why we are suffering and non cell we don't have any cell because everything is uh, appear disappear very fast and everything is impermanence and impermanence mean also non self and then with this means uh, that is uh, really important of buddha teaching and we when we uh, know that by observing the uh, the it the arising and pass away are passing away of mentality and materiality in really short term and with concentration based on the morality and then we can discern the impermanence suffering and non-self and then at, at that moment we can be enlightenment enlightened enlightened person so that's why uh, i try to explain to you is uh, 
more than architecture, morality and concentration and wisdom will be the most important thing in the world. And the benefits of wisdom is about if we practice them seriously, we can be enlightened. And of course, with enlightenment, we can accept everything easily. Everything can change easy. So um, with this wisdom uh, uh, and is based on morality and the concentration, uh, it will help us uh, to have the better society if many of us maintaining the five precepts and uh, meditation every day. So I continue to explain about the system here is a uh, uh, the uh, the center of everything is will be the morality and concentration and the wisdom, and that means about the five precepts and meditation. That these three would mean uh, 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 the five precepts and meditation, and the big goal of my life life is about enlightenment not about architecture so to achieve this enlightenment we we need to maintain the five precept and meditation my five precept mean morality meditation mean develop the concentration and wisdom based on the morality and our office is kind of not really important thing here but uh, i need to explain to you about it, so it should be at the bottom and uh, we need to be careful when uh, we have some violations to our the our precept and meditation and uh, because our, uh, i and my staff uh, maintain the five precept and meditation meditate really seriously and then we 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 achieve good concentration and for me i really rarely have to go to the construction site which was impossible before or impossible for other architects but for me because i could develop super concentration and then i could be in myanmar for nearly three years uh, but the, the the office still work well so i continue to explain you mayor and are some are uh, pro project more is like a uh, uh here is a restaurant in um, china we achieved this uh, during the pandemic after lunar new year but um, this one i also now been to 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 this place uh, to to this uh, construction site too so this is another project in the temple next near next to that project and you know i never been to construction site too and recently we finished the pavilion in uh, shenzhen in the old old place and then we would like to achieve this because uh we still want to like make the forest in the city for for them this old city and we we make like a they we have the, had a project like a pavilion and then we achieve this this one now we are waiting for the tree growing off and and the building will finish at that moment and we are working in this office this is our office with a lot of vegetable vegetable and the greenery around cover we achieve here the natural ventilation with the shadow of the tree and um uh the you know the sunlight through the the, the tree also achieve really soft uh, light for our office space and during the pandemic is really good to be here to work because the like kind of we can open the window for ventilation and we have enough uh, 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 nearly enough vegetable for our staff to eat uh, food here and their space quality inside yes yes and here maybe the time to finish our meditation 
but and then i would like to tell you is um in our office uh, for us more than architect and architecture uh, the maintaining the five precepts and meditation will be the most important thing in our office so that's why we still achieve like a uh, 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 two hours per day uh, meditation and um, uh, maintaining the five precepts and uh, thank you very much to give me this op opportunity to explain about the five precepts and meditation thank you thank you very much Fo Trong. um can you hear me all right Yes. Oh, great. So um, there are a few questions in the question log here. Are you open to responding to them? Yes. Um, I'll start with them in chronological. Well, they're starting to fill up some more now, so we'll start at the beginning. Um, uh, thank you for sharing your beautiful work. I do have to ask, why don't you visit your sites more often? Yeah. Uh, visiting the site will be really important issue for any architects but for uh, my case I need to meditate you know so um, I need to spend many hours per day sometimes 10 hours per day to meditate and unluckily I was in Myanmar right not unluckily luckily I was in Myanmar so of course i can i could not go to the construction site for any reason right and i need to be in 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 in, in the meditation center to meditate so uh, go to the construction site in impossible but thing to that so i found down found out that i can work with really high concentration i then i don't have to go there but we still can achieve really good uh, uh quality for the construction and the satisfaction of the client is really high at the moment and then that's why we repeat the client again and again with same client we do many projects for them so what i mean is uh, with concentration of me of mine and uh, for my staff and with our morality with the five precept and then it can help us to have good concentration and then we can control the detail even better than we before when i was uh, i went to the construction site more oftenly thank you um just out of curiosity do you go to the sites when the projects are in design to experience the place ahead of time before you in the early phases of a design project um, many projects recently uh, even i uh, we are doing the project just like 10 kilometers from my office but honestly i never been to I never been to because you know um i can concentrate even like five hours content continuously so i could develop the concentration to 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 manage the risk of detail and the risk of the lead relationship of the client then that's why we can do even better than before i went to the construction site more oftenly so what i mean is um, we even can see beings like us or 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 or, or god at that side too so i can see the context of the site without going there thank you um the next question is uh a little longer i'll read it slowly so that um you can have a chance to process it um it starts thank you for your presentation i found it very interesting how you begin exploring your work from the perspective of morality spirituality and buddhist teachings in western education which is largely secular 
the closest comparison to this concept in design is in the field of ethics and design, which is largely understudied. Can you explain how and why this methodology is so vital to your work on a personal level, or maybe why you design first with spirituality in mind? And Can you explain me a little bit? Well, it's a long question. <laughs> um, I, this person is asking, I, I believe I'll... And I think someone can type for me here, right? I don't well, know if, if, if you can click on the uh, Q&A button at where, the bottom of here? your screen. It should be at the bottom of your screen. Mm. And then it should pop a window open. Was that effective or not effective? Mm. I don't know where it is. Oh, can you copy it to here? Uh, here mean, um, oh, here, yeah, yeah, I can see it here now. Yeah, yeah so it's the, it's the second question. I think maybe to paraphrase what I believe is um, this, this questioner is contrasting the way you come to your design process through a lens of spirituality, uh, morality, and Buddhist teachings, which is in contrast to a Western point of view. Um, but um, And so the question that they ask is, um, could you explain how and why this method uh, is vital to your work on a personal level? Like they, I think they want to ask how you engage, how you think about this when you come to a project. Oh, yeah. Mm, because... Uh, before meditating, I need to spend huge time to think about the concept. But now I have to spend almost my time for meditation. So in reality, I don't have time and I don't think about the concept of, uh, uh, think about the concept of uh, architecture. So... Um, and, and I just tell you a secret, I sleep really long eh, from uh, 9 p.m. to 5.30 in the morning. And I start my day at uh, every day at 5.30. So my time when I was in Myanmar is used for all of them is almost for meditation. So I just work just 10 or 30 minutes. So, but because of the morality, like uh, purify up my my mind and uh, m uh, develop the concentration and the concentration is super concentration we call it jhana i mean the the full absorption concentration and then the idea comes out automatically you know we don't have to think about the concept we don't have to think much about the detail and then we can understand the risk of the detail and of course the all of our system people uh, are maintaining the five precept and meditate very well and then they can help to understand our my target and my philosophy or my thinking easily and that's why we could achieve the the, the building design is uh, uh, really easier maybe 100 percent easier than compared to before so that's why it helped to reduce the time to to work you know i don't have to work much i don't have to um to think about architecture concept i don't have to think much about the detail sometimes i have to think recently uh, just a little bit but i i use all of more my time to to meditate and sleeping and recently i started to learn english not about architecture it's just a little bit maybe maybe recently one hours uh, one or two hours per day for for architecture and uh, when i was in myanmar just 10 or 30 minutes is maximum because i don't have time i didn't have time so because i didn't have time i think is about the methods of developing of the uh, morality and the concentration by meditation it helps 
And, you know, with the people, all of staff who maintaining the five precepts and meditation, I believe that they can achieve better architecture even without me, you know. And then we, we are now doing many projects and then I don't think I need to meet clients or go to the construction site. Thank you for that. Um, there's a question here about um, the, one of the precepts, which is to not do harm. And the question is, if harm should not be done in architecture, how is the implementation of a building taken into account in the process uh, of meditation and design? So what I believe that questioner is asking about, there's an inherently harmful process of digging holes and, uh, you know, changing landscapes uh, in order to accommodate a building. How do you balance that with the uh, do no harm precept? A uh, harm precept here mean killing. Killing uh, the even small beings like mosquito or ants. We should try to kill them even like mosquito or, or ants come into our house. So in my... Um, my in our office we respect the lives of uh, even really small being like that and that's why we develop the uh, the loving kindness and we have the loving kindness meditation too and then we develop that and then that's why we have to bear the harmony with other beings especially for humans of course and then um, here mean we 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 don't kill any animal or any beings like an or mosquito or even cow or uh, or chicken right or something like that um i think the question had to do more with the construction process doesn't that have some harmful elements to it like when sites are cleared there's Animals Site clear is, of course, it not done by us, uh, but um, uh, during the 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 process of clearing spine, uh, site or or building the construction, maybe some be being will, will will be die. But if we are not pretend to, we are not one to kill and then we don't kill them then we don't harm the precept i would like to explain to this uh, question uh, personally to him or, or or her about this killing precept great thank you very much i think um a couple of these next ones i'm i have to kind of filter these a little bit because i think i believe you've answered some of them uh in other ways um uh well here's an interesting one um do you find that many from the west misunderstand your perspective um like when you like perhaps it's mo even more than the west like clients etc you, you you have a very distinctive and very different way of working and thinking and being um do you find do you find people misunderstand that Yes, um, to be an architect, if you don't go to the party to drink some um, wine or, or, or champagne or, or beer, it's a little bit weird because there are many clients they wanted to they want to invite me to have some like beer or something like that, right? Or the precept is really really difficult for 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 us and for them too so sometimes they un miss they have misunderstanding to to us but um, later we just saw this problem by our design quality and construction quality and then later they can understand that very well and then they respect and they we can um build really good trust between us and client and even society and between our, our staff and then that why we don't have to go much to the construction site especially leave me my my architect they still go to the construction site oftenly yeah thank you 
Um, maybe we'll pose one more question to you and then I'll give you an opportunity if you'd like to add a comment at the end before we uh, conclude. Um, so this question asks about your, how you and your office work together. Uh, how does your relationship between you and your staff work? Do your ideas regarding morality and wisdom impact how you collaborate in the creative process? I am curious to know more about the idea of selflessness in relation to authorship. Um, like wh who's responsible for things? For us, idea of design like we show you is we spend some time in just one, two, three, four, five minutes. We make the idea is very fast, you know. Sometimes it spend few days, but normally it spend really, really short time because we have really good concentration to do so. So all of the our energy to I would like to spend on the uh, construction side and detail, and that about the managing the function, about the architecture uh, idea at the beginning we almost don't have any difficulties for that. And how we can do that? Sometimes I just tell them immediately within a few minutes after I have the 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 the, the um, uh, uh, after I have the uh, like design requirement or after the contract signing, and then we don't have any difficulty with the uh, the, the 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 thinking about idea. So how about the staff and relationship with me and staff? Yeah, we build up the relationship depend on the morality and meditation and I connect with them by every day they report me their meditation and the precept and another thing they can make the decision of course but sometimes I still if I am in Vietnam like now I have the meeting with them oftenly I spend like from uh, 10 to a.m. to 12 a.m. every day now for meeting the, the, the every project but if i if i am in myanmar or i want to go to some places to study english in next few months that they can have they can make decision but for the beginning of the process of making the idea we have some meeting and then we make the decision very fast at the 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 uh, the, mm, uh, the stage of the uh, idea and then we develop the all of our time for design is manage the function and um, and detail that's what i mean is uh, for us for the idea it will be really easy not we don't spend much time even for bamboo structure or a bamboo idea later detail will be a little bit trouble because bamboo itself is really small pitch piece and then we need to do huge structure for them and then the detail for 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 uh um uh for for the detail for the the, the that structure will be a little bit uh, still challenging for us so from authorship there are no question for authorship is uh, 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 because uh, we build up the system of morality and uh, and um, morality and uh, and uh, 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 concentration and then uh, con meditation so about the concept no doubt about that because we develop at the beginning and i kind of contribute 99 percent for that and then of course i would like to help the staff uh, 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 um, idea and sometimes we really try to develop staff idea to the, the, the uh, 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 to achieve the building and then now kind of they are doing very well at the moment but everything is should be true and then it uh, mean based on the five precept and meditation no worry about that thank you um on that point just uh 
Uh, it's a it's a continuation of the same question. How do you recruit people to your office? Do they seek you out if they're looking for this experience, or do you find you have to um, um, spend or someone spends effort on finding people who can prosper in that kind of environment? You mean how I, how can I hire staff? Well, or how do you find people who will do well in that context with you? Oh yeah. I uh, make the advertising on our Facebook, our fan page about I would like to hiring the staff, uh, but the morality and um, and uh, meditation will be the main issue in our company. We explained that at the beginning. And then I told you it was really hard before the pandemic because to hire staff is hard for us because now the young uh, staff not nowadays uh, people is uh, doesn't want to maintain the five percent well but because of the pandemic you know so we could uh, <laughs> we could uh, hire a lot of staff because i think uh, the selection work is not easy for them so we are still hiring during the pandemic so we could hire around more than 20 staff within few months and then we still need maybe five to ten staff so any of your student want to join that please all right thank you so much um i want to Thank you on behalf of the Sala community for sharing your work, um, which has struck many in the uh, question and answer line as a, as a beautiful body of work. People are making many comments about um, how inspired they find, uh, find the outcomes of your, of your office. And uh, we are very appreciative that you've sh shared this time with us today. We've, we've, uh, we've very, been very privileged to have about uh, well, I guess it's about eighty minutes or so of your of your concentration today, which I now appreciate is a very valuable, <laughs> very valuable thing. So <laughs> I'm uh, really still concentrate concentrates very well at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, so uh, I am uh, about to say goodbye to you. If you'd like to say something to our audience, I'd be happy to give you a moment. But um, thank you for give me opportunity to speak here and last uh, comment if, uh, last word was uh, from me is about we should maintaining precept and meditation before we make the architecture so that make you make the architecture easier and better compared to when you don't meditate and you know, I was spend huge time for thinking about the concept for design uh, architecture, but now they almost zero, almost. I don't spend any time for that. Just go to the office and have some meeting and just some tell some idea and then on time and then I go, uh, I uh, leave the office immediately. And then I, it can save my time a lot. And then what here is, uh, I just want to explain you how excellent uh, the um, precept and meditation. And thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. And goodbye from Vancouver. Thank you. Goodbye from Hanoi. <laughs>